Hi folks, this is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report. I want to talk about skipping. Skipping, now what does that have to do with fishing? Well, I, I tell you, it has a lot to do with fishing. We talk about structure and how fish orient to structure. And the, the further along it gets in the summer, those fish are going to look for structure that protects them from the sun, protects them from the excess heat. And it gives them a place to be safe, to either ambush or to be out of the way of predator fish, depending on whether they're a forage fish or whether they're a predator, like a bass. And so one of the primary areas, and we've talked about this before, are docks. But they can be any type of structure that, that overhangs the water that allows for sort of a, a canopy of safety underneath. But how do you get your bait underneath there where the fish are? Well, that's where you skip. And let's go back to when we were kids. Most kids, I don't care who you are out there listening, whether you're an avid fisherman or maybe not even a fisherman of all, you've probably skipped rocks. And there's certain things you need to know how to do to skip rocks. You need to know how to cast it almost flat ways. You need a flat, flat rock. A round rock won't skip. It'll just sink to the bottom. But if it's skinny and flat, you can come up with a great skipper. And it, it's a lot of fun. Well, the same thing comes into play with fishing. Good anglers know that if they're going to catch fish on these days when they really need that safety canopy, they got to know how to skip their bait underneath. And you watch some of these good fishermen. They have a special type of rod for it, usually bait caster, and they can flip sideways and skip their bait maybe five, ten times. And where it first hits the water is in front of the dock, and then it starts skipping underneath and underneath. And if they're good at it, they can get it way back in there. And a lot of fishermen, they rely on this totally. And because a lot of times they start skipping when they're young, they get very, very good at it. It's like anything else. There's so many ways to fish. And to get good at that technique and method that, that you choose to fish you got to do over and over and over again. And the more you do it, the better you get at it. You, you learn to know exactly just how to, what speed to, to move your wrist, the type of rod to use, uh, and what what lures or baits, what, what weight on those baits works best so that it stays on top of the water skipping and doesn't, doesn't fall when it first hits the water. But I got to tell you, if you've never skipped, and, on, and I also got to tell you that I'm not very good at it. When I go out with my buddy Will Clute and we're fishing docks along the waters of the reservation, he catches 10 to 1 what I do because he gets his bait under the docks much better than I do. But if I did it every day and I enjoyed that kind of fishing the most, then I would get good at it. I've told you before that probably my best technique is something that I've done my whole life and that is use jigs. So I've got very good at doing it, and I've got very confident that it's going to work for me. I can feel what that jig is doing. I can feel the strike. I know whether to jig it up and down or sideways, but that's, this is a whole other method of fishing. But what I'm referring to is once you get a method that you, that you know will probably render you success, then you have to sort of, sort of get good at all aspects of it. And skipping is indeed one of those methods that will catch you more fish. Until next time, folks, this is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report.